Is One Piece overrated? Find out today. First of all, I want to make sure it's clear. I love One Piece. It's an amazing theory. And it is also the most popular anime and manga series in Japan. However, there are times when I feel that some fans overrate it. And I just want to give my two cents on this topic. And my thought is that I don't think it's necessarily overrated. I feel that there are certain thing, people that will overrate it. Like, I personally did not enjoy certain parts of the Zoark. I'm not going to get into that here, but there were parts I didn't enjoy. And people would say I was wrong for and people were saying, like, I was wrong about it. Like, I should be enjoying it because of this. Listen, there are some things that I just don't enjoy and that you just don't enjoy. Some people find the whole Sanji o thing when he dresses up as a chick on the uh, Island Soga cross dresser. Some people find that funny. I don't. I thought that was a little. I, th I thought that was like, what? Sanji, like, why is Sanji doing this? Is that a character? Like, like oh, that is it a little too far for a gad to do something like that with a straight character? If you're into that, it's fine. But considering Sanji is straight, that kind of just said that Oda taking the gag a little too far. I thought maybe you enjoyed it. Maybe you thought it was hilarious. I didn't. I thought it was very out of character. The point, and when I made my video, one of my reviews, and I mentioned that I had not been enjoying it though, and I ranted a bit. People disagreed with me, which is fine. You want to disagree with me, fine. But people defend One Piece constantly. And a lot of people give One Piece chapters like 10 out of 10 and stuff. I do my best to not give chapters 10 out of 10 unless it's well deserved. The last chapter was around it was really good. But you know what? But, but you know what? Besides the thing with Rai though, there wasn't really anything else that happened. One major event happened. I couldn't really give it uh, like a high rating for that, so I gave it a 9 out of 10. Like, does that mean I didn't love it? No, but like, when I rate something, I have to give it a rating that it deserves. And a lot of people always rate these chapters with like 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5, and it's kind of like, why? It's like, yes, it was an amazing chapter and we all loved it, but it wasn't perfect. Nothing is perfect. And you need to pick up the flaws in things. And not everybody will look for the flaws in One Piece. I do plan on making a video about the things I do not like about One Piece. And, you know, people disagree with that, but it will be an opinionated video. The point I'm making here is that a lot of people will jump the gun and try to defend One Piece like it's perfect. One Piece is not perfect. It's an amazing theory. But, it's by no means perfect. The pacing in Dread Rosa was terrible. Let's be honest. The, no, people still talk about it. People say, but pacing is though better than Drek Rosa. If something were perfect, you couldn't make it any better. You want to know why people say the pacing is though better? Because it is. Because the pacing in Drek Rosa was inconsistent and bad. It really was. Like, they, they would be running around, they'd be running around in costumes for five episodes while we got Father doing random ass crap and nobody cares about. Not that I didn't enjoy the stuff they did, I'm just saying the pacing wasn't the greatest. And that went into distract from what I rated the chapter. The point is that One Piece had flaws, just like everything else. But, you also need to consider that it definitely is not as popular as like Dragon Ball or Naruto worldwide. And I do think it is underrated in some sense as well. Because, worldwide, Dra One Piece, People say, oh, I don't like the art. Like, I can't get into it because of the art style. I'm kind of like, really? That's your reason? That, okay, that's kind of depressing. It bumps me out a bit, but whatever. The So it is underrated in that aspect. Like, it's not world. It doesn't have that worldwide popularity that, like, Naruto and One Piece. Not Naruto and One Piece. Naruto and Dragon Ball do. Even Bleach have more worldwide popularity than One Piece does. Well, the net, well nowadays that's debatable because police have gone down downhill like hell. Not that that's undeserved, but whatever. The point is, is that I feel as if it, but a lot of the One Piece fans overrate it because they they defend it like it's perfect sometimes, and that can get really annoying. 
Even if you're not a fanboy, a lot of people do like to defend One Piece. Because they, they have trouble finding the flaws in it, and they're saying it's not good, which is fine. But it is overrated in that aspect, but it's also underrated in the aspect that it doesn't have worldwide popularity. And it's not recognized worldwide as a series that is as good as it is. A lot of people think it's weird due to the art. And, yeah, so, I don't really, I feel like it's in between with One Piece. That's the conclusion of this video, it's in between. It's not overrated, but it's also not underrated. Because it's underrated in terms of, like, popularity outside of Japan, but it's overrated by fans in terms of the fact that people will constantly defend it like it's perfect, which it is not. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me your thoughts on this topic in the comment section down below. And remember guys, above all else, to have a great day.